need eight yards on this third down. Has Todd Miller to corner. Watch him on the left. He doesn't even reroute the receiver, Ruben Randall. He doesn't. Jeff Castile, the defensive coordinator, calls a defensive signal from the sideline. And you're playing the position. High school quarterback, an All-American. On second down, snaps it off to Randall. Loses in Norman under Bob Stoops. If a fumble on the snap. But coming in pretty hard, too. Now Ford is in as the running back. Short drop. Jarrett Lee with plenty of time, but third downs. He's two of three for the night. Here they come again. They're going to run for it this time to make the stop for West Virginia. And this is still, Brent, their identity, as you and I know. I mean, they're heck of a blocker up front. Now, Stampley led that. Toss play to Ford. Over to the left side. Randall to the right. And this is running back. Short drop, throw on first down. Pick up four down. Into coverage. Where cuts a little bit left of Stanton. Their manhood, they're keeping the football away from that spread of West Virginia. <laughs> now back to throw. On the toss to where? Left side, but not much. Lee, Gokin Sue, in his own words, tells us about the art of the pass rush of Jarrett Lee. Where? Running back from Cincinnati is 44, will lead you to it. Oh! No, they throw out this week. You're going to fly out there and help her? I don't know. Michael Ford. They just keep attacking. You got to stay up with them. Dropped incomplete. Lee. In. West Virginia's defense has been unable to lay a hand on Jared Lee. He's, he's the right tackle right now. Through that. Take it back last week to Maryland. Maryland ran it in for three touchdowns in the second half on this West Virginia. And it's on display again tonight. Copeland and Ware are now the running back. There's that play action beautifully executed. Draw play. And close to another first down. There's Ware on the toss. Not going to get the first down that time. Gonna throw again from that tight formation for LSU. Jared Lee gets a signal straight. Brings forward, who's hit for a loss in the backfield. Second down and 12 inside shuttle pass, and there is D'Angelo Peterson touching the ball for the Lee. Throw sessions by LSU. Run the toss play with Ware. Ware's got daylight. Nine yard toss play again. Trying to pick up the first down. Appear to and ten. Toss play going to throw a halfback option, but Ware could not find anybody in time to throw it. Second and eleven. On third down, let's see if this is going to be muscle football. Here we come. First down behind the fullback. Well, and you can see a scrum down there in the middle of this. Third down and six. Out to the outside and where the running back. And this will depend on the spot. This, the line. Spencer Ware, the eye back. Spins and picks his way across the 45 yard line. But run, they'll go play action on you and try to hit a big one. Eight in the box. Where sprints outside. In the round. 
Nothing doing. Terrific defense by West Virginia. 35. Right flat. And seven. Draw play with Ware. First down. Love the fullback James Stampley. Watch 35. Pick them both up. He, he hits one of them. Safeties to stop it from scoring a touchdown. Ford. Cuts back. Touchdown LSU. Come up. Spencer Ware is the tailback. And now LSU will go to work on the clock. Urban, I've always wanted to ask you this. Scored a bunch of times on fourth down. The rolling out is Jared Team now. I think the challenge is going to be offensively. Can they when they get against Alabama? For them the rest of this year in the Big East. And to see if they're able to uh, maybe capture a Big East championship. You know, and, and still, <laughs> despite with all the... <laughs> After this September run. 4-0. and oh. Where? Continues to be the workhorse and minded as the running back. He's brought down. And you know, Herbie, as we think about hostile environment there in Madison. That'll be a great scene next Saturday in Madison, Wisconsin for that game. And the young man.